He was born with demon god power and became the strongest demon slayer. On a chilly night, a mother gives birth to twin boys. One of the boys named Yukio appears perfectly normal, while the other twin, Rin, is surrounded by an unusual blue flame, indicating that he is the son of Satan, the most powerful demon. Rin was just like any other kid, except he had a really good heart and always wanted to do the right thing. But there was something different about Rin. He was really strong and had a bad temper. He would often get into fights with others and end up hurting them pretty badly. Even the teachers and other students were scared of him and started calling him Demon Child. It was really tough for Rin. He just wanted to fit in and be like everyone else. Thankfully, Rin had someone in his life who could help him. His adoptive father, Shiro, was the only one who could calm him down and stop him from hurting anyone. Rin looked up to Shiro and wanted to be just like him when he grew up. Despite his own troubles, Rin was always there for his twin brother Yukio. He protected Yukio from bullies and encouraged him to follow his dreams. Rin had a bit of a problem with getting into fights, and it caused some trouble for him when he got into an altercation with a group of kids. When he came home to his brother and adoptive father, they were both upset with him for getting into trouble again. Shiro talked to him about the importance of finding a respectable job and making something of himself. Rin didn't like being lectured and they ended up arguing about it. Yukio took care of Rin's injuries and the brothers had a heart-to-heart -heart about their dreams and ambitions. Yukio wanted to become a doctor, and Rin really wanted to be respectable and make something of himself, but he wasn't sure where to start. Yukio suggested that he should go to the job interview that Shiro had set up for him. It was a good opportunity to start building a better life for himself. As Rin walked through town, he noticed something strange in the air. There was a lot of coal tar, but no one else seemed to notice it. While walking through an alley, Rin ran into the same group that had caused trouble for him before. But this time, something was different. The gang leader had horns and a tail. Rin tried to leave, but the leader wasn't happy about this and a fight broke out between them. The demon pulled out a hot rod and pinned Rin to the ground, about to burn him. But something happened. Rin's body became covered in blue flames, which the demon recognized as the flames of Satan. It was a shock to Rin and he didn't know what was happening. Thankfully, Shiro appeared and chanted a verse that exorcised the demon from the group leader. Shiro then explained to Rin that he was actually the son of the strongest demon, Satan. He went on to explain what demons are, where they come from, and what Rin's powers were. Rin and Shiro rushed home, but things were about to change. Shiro started packing Rin's belongings and explained to him that he was born from a human mother and a demon. He gave Rin a sword called Kirikara, which was a demon slayer sword. Shiro revealed that he was an exorcist and that he had transferred Rin's demon powers to the sword when he was born. It was a shock to Rin to learn that he was the only one born with those powers. His twin brother, Yukio, wasn't born strong enough to have demonic powers. Shiro also explained that when Rin drew the sword, he would return to his demon form. Shiro then asked Rin to leave while he dealt with a demon attacking the church. But Rin, feeling confused and hurt, believed that they wanted him out of their lives. He returned inside, wanting to make sense of everything. Shiro tries to stop him, but Rin was feeling confused and hurt. He even told Shiro that he was not his real father and to stop pretending to be it. Unfortunately, those words broke Shiro's heart and something shocking happened. Blue flames started to cover his body, revealing that Satan was possessing him. Satan told Rin that he would join him and ripped off Shiro's fingers. Blood dripped from his fingers and opened the monstrous gate of Jehenna, which was the world where Satan lived. A frightened Rin was being pulled into the gate and yelled for help. But Shiro regained control of his body and took the point on the top of his necklace and chose auto-deletion to save Rin. Rin then unlocked his demonic powers by unleashing the sword and transformed into his true demon form. His ears grew long and pointed, and he grew a devil-like tail. He was covered in blue flames, which he used to destroy the gate. As the morning arrived, Rin noticed the dead body of Shiro and tearfully mourned his death. Rin attended his funeral where he met Mephisto, another son of Satan. Mephisto explained to Rin that, as the son of Satan, he had two options, kill everyone there or be killed. But Rin had other plans. He wanted to become an exorcist, just like his adoptive father. Mephisto was shocked to hear this, but Rin claimed that he was not Satan's son. His real father was Shiro. Mephisto asked Rin why he wanted to become an exorcist. Rin's reply was simple but powerful. He said that he was gonna beat the hell out of Satan. After a moment of silence, Mephisto laughed hysterically. Mephisto decided to become the brother's new guardian and took them both to True Cross Academy, a normal school with an exorcist course. He explained to them that they couldn't leave the campus without express permission. He also warned Rin that his identity as the son of Satan must remain hidden. When Rin arrived at his anti-demon pharmacology class, 
he was surprised to discover that Yukio was his teacher. The first lesson for this class was about receiving a wound from a demon. It was something that was required to become an exorcist. Yukio had to make sure that every student in his class had one, and he planned on drawing out goblins to achieve that. But Rin was feeling confused and demanded an explanation from his twin brother. Yukio told the students to leave, and then he revealed that he had become an exorcist two years ago. He had started exorcist training at the age of seven, and he received a demon wound from Rin on the day they were born. Rin couldn't believe that his brother had kept it from him all this time. Feeling frustrated and hurt, Rin grabbed Yukio's arm and asked why he never told him about anything. Unfortunately, Rin's action caused Yukio to drop the vial, which led to a horde of goblins appearing and attacking the classroom. Yukio quickly sprang into action and started shooting the goblins. In a tense moment, Rin approached Yukio and asked how he felt about him since they hadn't talked since their father's death. Rin wanted to know how Yukio felt about him, given that Yukio knew so much about Rin's true identity. Unfortunately, Yukio's response wasn't what Rin was hoping for. Yukio considered Rin to be a danger to everyone, and he believed that Rin should either give himself up or just die. It was a harsh truth that hurt Rin deeply. To make matters worse, Yukio added that their father's death was Rin's fault because Rin was Shiro's one and only weakness. Yukio mentioned that Rin had probably hurt Shiro by saying he wasn't his real father, which allowed Satan to take over Shiro's body. Yukio pointed his gun at Rin, and Rin's anger began to boil over. His body started to emanate blue flames all over, and he pulled out his sword, revealing his true demon form. He ran toward Yukio, daring him to shoot. But something unexpected happened. Rin passed through his twin brother and killed a huge demon who was almost attacking Yukio from behind. After they both calmed down, Yukio asked Rin about Shiro's last moments. Rin simply told him that Shiro died protecting him. And he decided that he couldn't have more people getting hurt because of him. And he decided to become an exorcist to protect others. Yukio smiled and revealed that he had the same reason for becoming an exorcist. To protect others, especially Rin. Later, Rin went to his dorm and discovered that Yukio was his roommate. Yukio told him that they were the only two there because Rin was considered dangerous, and Mephisto wanted someone to keep an eye on him. The following day, Rin and Yukio tag along and use a supplier's key to get to an exorcist-only shop. While they were there, they met a young girl named Shimi, who was struggling with a demon that had caused roots to grow on her legs. Feeling sympathetic, Rin and Yukio decided to help her, and together they were able to defeat the demon and save Shimi. After the ordeal, the little girl joined their class as a new student, but Rin found himself struggling to stay awake during his classes. He overheard Ryuji asking why Rin was even in the exorcist school, which only made Rin feel more self-conscious. Later in their demon pharmacology class, Yukio handed back some tests that they had recently taken. Rin was disappointed to see that he had only gotten a 2 out of 100 on his test, while Ryuji had gotten a 98. Rin was feeling frustrated and upset, but Ryuji told him to try harder instead of trying to impress girls. In disbelief, Rin stated that a guy with an attitude and looks like Ryuji cheats to get high scores on tests. Ryuji responded that he worked hard to become an exorcist and didn't rely on his looks or attitude. Their argument continued as they were dragged away from each other. Later, in their practical athletics class, their anger toward each other only continued to escalate. During a training exercise involving a reaper, a sort of frog demon, tensions between Rin and Ruji boiled over once again. Ruji kicked Rin in the back, causing them both to fall to the ground, and they had to be pulled away from each other once more. Ruji's goal is to kill Satan, and he decided to come up with a plan for Rin to prove that he was serious about becoming an exorcist. All he had to do was walk up to the reaper and touch it without it attacking him. However, Rin refused to do it, knowing that he couldn't draw his sword to protect himself if there were other people around. Ruji decided to do it anyway and told Rin that he could sit by and watch like a coward. As Ruji approached the Reaper, he started remembering how he was mocked by everyone when he was a kid. Sensing this, the Reaper attacked. But at the last second, Rin jumped into the Reaper's mouth and saved Ryuji. Rin stared deep into the Reaper's eyes, ordering it to let him go, and the monster immediately obeyed after seeing the blue Satan flames in his eyes. Rin turned back to Ryuji with a determined look on his face, and he declared that he would be the one to defeat Satan. The following day, Yukio informed the class about the annual exam, which was a difficult test that all exorcist students had to take. He also announced that he would be holding a one-week training camp for the class to prepare for the exam, which would start the following week. Yukio handed out a form that needed to be filled out to attend the training camp, and the students had to write down which class they hoped to become. Rin was confused and asked what a class was, and his classmates explained the five different classes of exorcists to him. 
After learning about the different classes, Rin decided that he wanted to become a knight. One week later, the class arrived at the abandoned dormitories where Rin and Yukio lived for the training camp. Rin notices Shimi waiting in the hall and asks her what she's doing. Shimi tries to avoid the question and says that she needs to go get some fruit milk. But Rin notices that she's been acting like an errand runner lately to get close to some girls in the class, so he grabs her arm and asks her to stop. Shimi, with tears in her eyes, tells Rin that she just wants to help someone and that it's the first time she's ever made a friend. She then pulls her arm away and runs away, yelling that Rin wouldn't understand. Rin chases after her, and when they hear screaming coming from the washroom, Rin tells Shimi to go get Yukio while he investigates. When Rin makes it to the washroom, he sees that Eyebrows here is about to get attacked by a ghoul, a type of demon and her own summoned spirit. Rin stops the attack and orders Eyebrows to tear up the summoning papers. Shimi bursts into the room and tells Rin to distract the ghoul while she treats her classmates' injuries with her familiar, a small creature that she can control and make plants. Rin fights the ghoul and gets thrown around quite a bit, but he manages to hold it off until Yukio and the rest of the class show up just in time to scare off the ghoul before it can hurt anyone else. Yukio thanks Shimi for treating her classmates' wounds correctly because she would have died otherwise. The day after, Rin asks his brother Yukio about the ghoul, and Yukio says that the situation is being investigated, but they need to be cautious in the meantime. In class, Eyebrows is struggling to recite scriptures, so Ryuji finishes them for her. This leads to an argument between her and Ryuji, and Rin tries to stand between them to stop the fight. Unfortunately, Eyebrows swings at Ryuji, but Rin takes the hit instead. As a result, the entire class gets detention. While in detention, the lights suddenly go out and a ghoul from the previous day's attack enters the room. Shimi's familiar creates a tree barrier to hold the ghoul back, but a second ghoul appears from the hallway and both ghouls attempt to break through the barrier. Rin, noticing the danger they were in, decided to take action to protect his classmates. He left the room and lured one of the ghouls away so that the others could escape. Unfortunately, while he was trying to turn the power back on in the basement, he was attacked by the ghoul. Rin fought back with his blue flames, but suddenly, a teacher appears and reveals that he was the one who summoned the ghouls. In a fit of rage, Rin defeats the ghoul that had been chasing him, but the teacher had vanished. When Rin returns to the detention room, he finds that the students have managed to defeat the other ghoul without him. Just then, Yukio arrives, followed by the other teacher. As Rin is about to warn Yukio about the other teacher, Mephisto suddenly appears and lands on Rin interrupting him. Mephisto reveals that the attack by the ghouls was actually part of an exam that the students were supposed to pass. He also announces that the results of the exam will be revealed the next day. Yukio questions the other teacher about why he went beyond the limits of the exam, but the teacher claims that he was only following orders given to him by Mephisto. At night, while Rin is asleep, the other teacher sneaks into his room and tries to kill him with a giant compass that he uses for drawing summoning circles. However, Yukio had already sensed something and moved Rin to another room. Yukio confronts the other teacher and the two of them start fighting. But the teacher is able to distract Yukio and summons his strongest familiar, an upper-class demon called Nabrius. Just as the Nabrius is about to attack Yukio, Rin shows up and stabs the demon with his sword. But before he can attack the teacher, the teacher pours holy water on Rin and the Nabrius grabs him. Yukio destroys the summoning circle to save Rin. Rin then confronts the teacher and demands to know who he is. The teacher reveals that he is a survivor of the Blue Knight, an event on the day the twins were born, in which Satan possessed many exorcists and killed them, and he lost his family and I during the event. Rin tells him that he'll fight him as many times as he wants, as long as he stops involving innocent people. The teacher leaves, and the next day, Mephisto announces that everyone in the class has been promoted to the second lowest exorcist rank, Xwire, leaving Rin one step closer to defeating his father. If this video reaches 30,000 likes you also pass the exam and get part 2. Watch this next video, see you on the next one.